We'll begin the ceremony in a few minutes. Uh, I'm just waiting for everyone to kind of come into the building from outside on the steps. So you'll note uh, we have quite a few elected officials here today. Uh, I'd like to thank them for joining us. You know, we just had an election, and um, you can't put on ceremonies like this or have parades uh, without the support of your elected officials. And I apologize in advance if I uh, haven't uh, recognized uh, someone who may be here behind me. But we have uh, the entire uh, Massachusetts uh, delegation, uh, State Senator Mike Brady, uh, Representative Claire Cronin, as well as Representative Michelle Dubois, and Jerry Cassidy. In addition, we have the uh, uh, Registrar of Deeds, uh, John Buckley, and uh, Southeastern School Committee man, Mark uh, Lindy, who uh, doubles as a uh, director of the local cable access. Council at large, Mayor-elect Robert Sullivan, uh, John McGarry, uh, and um, Ward Councilors Shirley Azak, uh, Ann Beauregard, John Lally, Susan Lake Castro, Dennis Ianeri, Tom Monahan, and we have uh, school committee members Tom Minicello, Richard Bath, uh, Judy Sullivan, and Tim Sullivan. We're also newly elected uh, school committee member, uh, I'm sorry, uh, yes, uh, Rita Mendez and uh, Tina Cardoza. Um, I'm sorry, there are councils at large, excuse me, I apologize. So, uh, without further ado, uh, I will begin today's uh, Veterans Day ceremony by posting uh, colors. Uh, J Brockton High JROTC, post colors. Brockton Police, Fire Department, please post colors. this time, I will invite uh, Anna Anise to the podium to lead us in the National Anthem. She's a member of the Brockton High School Chorale. Anna. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming. And the rocket's red glare, the bombs bursting in air, gave proof through the night that our flag was still there. Oh, say does that star 
At this time, I would like to invite uh, Cadet Lieutenant Colonel Elizabeth Vicente of the uh, very fine Brockton High School JROTC to the podium to lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance. Please remain standing. I pledge of allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. At this time, uh, I would like to invite William McCoy, the chaplain of Rockton Fire Department, to uh, invoke this ceremony with prayer. Please, please be seated. And let us pray. Lord God of hosts and good shepherd, we gather here to give thanks for the men and women of our armed forces. We gather again to honor them who by their service have honored and continue to honor you. We give thanks for the sacrifices they've made, for the sacrifices they're making now in our behalf and on behalf of freedom-loving people everywhere. We remember them, Lord. We would honor them by upholding the same values they've upheld, values that sustain the many liberties that we continue to enjoy to this very day. Lord, we pray for those who bear the wounds of war, physical, emotional, and spiritual wounds. For their courage and strength, we pray, and for the healing power of your merciful love. We ask, O oh God, that you would bless us all, that we may be free of hatred and hostility. Help us to be free. Lord, not for doing whatever we please, but for doing what we must in the interest of the greater good. Guide those who devote themselves to the work of a governance for justice and peace, O oh Lord. Subdue those who strive for more of violence and mayhem and war. Grant of each of us, we pray, the wisdom and the will to be fair, to be kind, and to be humble as servants ourselves to all that is lasting and good and true. For your name's sake, we ask this and gather here. Amen. Thank you for joining us today for our uh, ceremony honoring Veterans Day. We invite a, a, a number of uh, individuals for these ceremonies twice a year, and uh, we received a uh, wonderful letter of uh, response from uh, U.S. Senator Elizabeth Warren, whose three brothers are veterans of the armed forces, I don't know the details of this service, but more than likely uh, Vietnam veterans. From Senator Warren. As our nation celebrates Veterans Day, I want to say thank you to all the brave men and women who have served our country as members of the armed forces and to honor those who have made the ultimate sacrifice in service to our nation. As a sister of three veterans, 
I understand the deeply important contributions our service members and their families make to our country and our communities each day. You make us proud. The men and women of our armed forces are smart, tough, and courageous. You make extraordinary sacrifices to keep our loved ones and all of us safe, and we owe you our deepest gratitude for your service. Today is an opportunity for people in Massachusetts and across the country to pause, reflect, and say thank you to our family members, friends, and neighbors, and all our service members who have risked their lives to protect our nation. We are forever, forever grateful for your courage, your dedication, and your sacrifice. Thank you, and happy Veterans Day. At this time, I would like to introduce Mayor Moses Rodriguez, who is a veteran of the United States Navy, served for six years, and uh, returned to Brockton to continue that service to the people of Brockton. Uh, Mayor, please. Good morning. Um, I'm here today uh, as the mayor of this city, but I wanted to make sure that we remember to thank the men and women of the greatest military that ever served the planet. The American military is second to none. Those that actually uh, pay the uh, ultimate sacrifice, those that, are, that have served that are still here with us, and those that are currently serving continue to serve this, con this country proudly. But th today I want to make it a little more, especially in the sense that we lost a great, and I say again, great veteran of the city of Brockton, someone that actually served this country during the Second World War. And he was the last uh, surviving member of the attacks on Pearl Harbor. This week, we lost George Hersey, a uh, Navy veteran who served during the, the Second World War. And he served the, both the military and the city of Brockton proudly. So if I could just have everybody stand for a second or so on a moment of silence to honor the great veteran who was from Brockton. Thank you, you may be seated. We also received a, a, an official proclamation from the governor. I just wanted to show you so that you know it's here, but I, I thought it would be fitting for the city of Brockton to have its own proclamation to honor the men and women that have served this country or continue to serve this country. So, we put together a proclamation that I'm about to read. Whereas countless Brocktonians have served our country in defense of freedom and liberty, whereas since November 11, 1918, when World War I officially came to an end, every November, the people from all over the United States have gathered to honor our veteran. Whereas we are reminded on this day of the great contribution our veterans have made to our country and to our city, whereas it's appropriate for all Brocktonians to remember the bravery, dedication, sacrifices made by those who served our great country. Now, therefore, be it resolved that I, Moses M. Rodriguez, the mayor of the city of Brockton, do hereby proclaim November 11, 2019, Veterans Day in the city of Brockton. And I urge all residents of the city of Brockton to join on this observation on this day and recognize all the wonderful contributions veterans have made to our great community. And it's signed and sealed on the 11th day of November 2019 by me, the mayor of Brockton. And I just want to thank everybody for coming out, those that marched on the parade, those that saw the parade, those that just 
hung out to see this, uh, this beautiful representation of the honor that we owe to those that have come before us. Uh, it's, it's something that I truly, truly um, honor. As you know, I served in the United States Navy not looking for benefits. I did it because I felt that it was something I needed to do to honor this country. And I honor it proudly, and I'll continue to do that. And I'll continue to honor all those that are still serving, those that have served, and even those that will someday serve this great country of ours. Thank you very much for being here. Continue to enjoy your day. And please thank a veteran for all that they've done for our country. Thank you. And also, um, as you know, I tend to get confused occasionally, and uh, I neglected to mention a newly elected school committee woman, uh, Rita Rivas Mendez. And, uh, we, oh, I'm sorry, Cynthia Rivas Mendez, excuse me. So at this time, uh, we commemorate Veterans Day by the laying of a wreath. Uh, it's done in silence. Uh, it's a tribute to those who have fought and died for this country. And uh, I invite uh, the mayor and uh, Brockton Veterans Service Officer uh, uh, Cecile Gomes to lay that wreath at the um, foot of the flag.
You may be seated. Thank you. Brockton JROTC, retire the colors. Thank you for joining us today. That concludes uh, today's Veterans Day celebration. And um, you're all invited to the VFW Post 1046 on uh, North Quincy Street for uh, lunch, uh, pizza, subs, and drinks. Thank you. Thank you.